what, what is happening in, in our country Yale mama bado anaendelea kwenye nchi is, yetu is the deficiency of wisdom kule kupungukiwa kwa hekima because where there is strife kwa sababu mahali kuna kule kungangana kule kungangana and there is no peace na hakuna amani is because of absence of wisdom ni kwa sababu ya ukosefu wa hekima that's what the bible is saying hiyo ndio biblia inasema and it says where there is partiality and hypocrisy na biblia inasema mahali kuna partiality na hypocrisy is a sign of absence of wisdom ya ukosefu wa is a sign of absence of wisdom ya ukosefu kule kwa hekima you see what is happening mnaona yale mambo ambayo yanaendelea people say watu wanasema is there partiality in kenya is there partiality in kenya kuna ule ubaguzi kenya of course yes na ni ukweli every day when you when you recruit people from your tribe kila siku ukitoa watu kwenye kabila lenu that is what the bible calls partiality hiyo ndio biblia inaita ubaguzi you see what i'm saying naona anachosema if we have 12 iwapo tuna i mean 12 uh, 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 vacancies iwapo tuna nafasi 12 za kazi even in the church hata kanisani and every opportunity that comes na kila fursa inayokuja the first thing i think is about my mother jambo la kwanza ninalofikiria ni kuhusu mama yangu my wife ke wangu and my people na watu wangu that every time you see people working in this church na kila mara unapoona watu wakifanya kazi kanisani humo the only name you see morwabe naona tu jina morwabe 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 what a catastrophe ni janga la aina gani is that what we want je hilo ndio tunataka obviously no tunasema la so the bible says kwa hiyo biblia inasema Wisdom can take you out of a crisis. Hekima yaweza kukutoa kwenye janga. The nation of Kenya at the moment. Taifa la Kenya wakati huu can never get out of where it is. Haliwezi toka lilipo without wisdom. Bila hekima. Even in your own family. Hata katika jamaa yenu wenyewe. And you are facing a crisis. Na mnakabiliana na janga. You can never get out. Hawezi kutoka without wisdom bila hikima. Sometimes you call arbitration wakati mwingine anaita mapatano because this kind of people will be able to help you to organize Maana your future together. Aina kama hii ya watu watakusaidia kupata ama kupatanisha watu wako ama na siku zenu za mbele. So you need wisdom. Kwa hiyo unahitaji hikima. Amen. Amen. Is there any crisis going on in your life? Je, kuna tatizo lolote kwa maisha yako? You need wisdom. Unahitaji hikima. And if you lack this wisdom, ni wapi unakosa hikima hii? The Bible says ask and it will be given to you. Biblia inasema omba na itapeana kwako. Please lift up your hands and say Lord. Inua mkono wako useme Bwana. Empower me with wisdom. Niwezeshe na hikima. I will never be stuck again. Sitakwama tena. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Can you shout amen? Useme amina. It takes prayer. Inagarimu maombi. To have spiritual manifestation. Kupata madhihirisho ya kiroho. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Luke chapter 18 and verse 1. Luka 18 mstari wa kwanza. And first Thessalonians chapter 5. Wa Thessalonika wa kwanza sura ya 5. And verse 17. Mstari wa 17. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Biblia inasema omba bila kukoma. Anything you need. Chochote unachohitaji. It will never manifest. Hakitadhihirika. Until you speak. Hadi usungumze. Jesus said. Yesu akasema. Until now. Hadi sasa. You have not received anything. Hamjapokea chochote. But ask lakini omba anything in my name chochote kwa jina langu and it shall be given to you akitapeana kwenu until now hadi sasa so if there's anything you are lacking wapo kuna kitu unachokosa if there's anything you are missing wapo kuna kitu kina unachokosa if there's anything not yet available wapo kuna kitu ambacho hauna i have not yet asked for it bado haujaomba i have a duty today ninalo jukumu leo to give you an opportunity kukupa fursa that you can ask for it kwamba unaweza kukiona my father that i serve on this earth na baba yangu naemtumikia kwenye madhabahu hii shall give it to you atakupa he will make it happen ataifanyisha i can see your life changing after your na prayer today na kibalika baada ya maombi yako leo let me call the entire congregation to stand ni oite umati wote tusimame and you lift up your hands na wewe mikono yako begin asking anything you need randomly 
Begin asking anything you need randomly. Anza kuomba chochote unachotaka yeye. You don't know your prayer. Usipange maombi yako. You know what you are lacking. Unajua unachokosa. You know what you are missing. Unajua unachokosa. You know what you need. Unajua unachohitaji. Begin praying from any corner from any side. Anza kuomba kutoka popote kutoka sehemu yote. It shall be given to you. Ukitapeana kwako. Until now you have not asked of anything. Hadi sasa haujaomba chochote. Ask Omba. and it shall be given to you please lift up your hands and pray like a madman pray like a madman Omba kama wazimu. pray until it come to pass send a word of healing to your people send them out of hospital in the mighty name of Jesus let the sick come out of hospital let their bill be found in the name of Jesus pray even for the nation of Kenya to receive a package of wisdom make your prayer louder and powerful pray 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 this afternoon just make your prayer Just make your prayer. Fanya tu ombi lako. Please lift up your hands and make it happen this hour. Ino mkono yako na uifanyi uisababisha ifanyi kwa wakati huu. Do not allow to come out of this place without the manifestation. There must be some form of assurance Before you leave this place today You cannot live under difficult conditions As if you have no God You cannot be intimidated As if you have no God You cannot be oppressed As if you have no God The devil cannot sit on you While Jehovah is on the throne Pray Refuse to be seated on Refuse there's no disease that can remain in your, in your, in your body. Hakuna ugonjwa uweza kubaki mwilini mwako. Whenever you are make your prayer more powerful. Popote ulipofanya ombi lako kuwa la nguvu. And pray from your heart. Na uombe kutoka moyoni. and whistles are disturbing you bring an end to their activities today must be the end of their job Refuse to get out of the table before you are sure. Kata kundo kamezani kabla ukwena akika. Refuse to get out of the sanctuary. Kata kutoka hekaluni. Before you are sure that your thing is done. Kabla wakikishio kumba jambola kuli mefanyika. Tell the devil whether he likes it or not. Me shatania pende ya si pende. You are getting out better, 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 better. Unatoka ukiwa bora, bora, bora. Life will never be the same. With this prayer, 
Something is changing in the spiritual realm. I feel it in my heart. There is a shift in the spiritual realm. Somebody is coming out of indebtedness. Somebody is coming out of pressure and diabetes. Somebody is becoming HIV free, negative HIV. God is doing something right now. God is doing something right now. There is a breakthrough ahead of you. There is a breakthrough ahead of you. Your business is rising again. It is rising again. Pray like in a maternity ward. Get out with a baby that is alive. Toka na mtoto alie hai. Something is happening right now. 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 I feel it in my spirit. That sickness is leaving a particular family completely for them. There is a family being set free in this arena. This is an arena of liberty. Snacks are dying. Ayenas are running away. Visi wanatoroka. Cockroaches are leaving your house. Cockroaches are leaving your house. Rats are leaving your house right away. Rats are leaving your house right away. They are going, they are going, they are going. Wanaenda, wanaenda, wanaenda. They are going. Wanaenda. As you are praying, something is going out of your home. Una vyomba, kuna kitu kina toka kwako. so prophetic that even curses are being broken I can see drunkenness leaving people's homes I see it going I see it going The voice of God saying limitation is going. Limitation is leaving your home. receiving visas on the passports naona watu wakiwa na vyeti vya usafiri wakipokea visa za kusafiri za kwenda i see a visa on your passport naona visa kwenye passport yako i see a visa on your passport naona visa kwenye cheti chako cha usafiri as you are praying i see a visa on your passport naomba naona visa kwenye cheti chako cha usafiri white cloud in the church that means God is restoring the gifts of prayer hey! people be ready I 
I see a white crowd moving in the church. I see be ready now. God is giving you back your prayer life. Your gift is coming back. I hear restoration, restoration. If you are ready for restoration, lift up your hands. Restoration, restoration. All the spirit is taking over now. He's taking over now. I see the rain of the Holy Spirit coming. Receive, receive back, receive back. The power of the church. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. It's the power of the church. Take advantage of this opportunity. To me, a fursa he. The atmosphere is conducive. Anger ni nzuri. And ready to give you something. Natayari kukupa kitu. Refuse to go back home empty-handed. Kata kurudi nyumbani mkono mtupu. In your prayer, just bring your family to order. Katika umbilako, rejesha jamayako kujipangiliu. Bring your husband back home. Take him out of that place. Bring your wife back home. Take her out of that. In your prayer, restore something today. Restore something today. Restore something today. Restore something today. Rejesha kitu leo. God is restoring love to this church. God is restoring love to this church. Please lift up your hands. We are praying for restoration of love. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you for the restoration of love. The love that was in this church 10 years ago. You spoke to me that you are restoring it back. You are restoring it back. And I pray that this same seed can go even to the new people. Extend to those that are not yet born again. And through this church, thousands will be born again. Will be born again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.